there are certain idioms that I think can be more efficiently conveyed in one language than in another. For example, the English, I am what I am, is probably better expressed in Spanish because in English, I and am are two separate words, subject and predicate, when in a sense, the act of being, the ontological act of being, is a single thing. There is no I and that there is no I that is amming. Uh, in Spanish, it's soy. It's the same word. You could say yo soy, but you know you could say soy as well. Uh, it's the same thing in French. It's normally je suis, but you could get away with poetically, I guess, just saying suis ce que je suis. <laughs> it's not common to say that, but you could do it. Um, in Latin, it's probably expressed the best, as usual. Uh, sum qui sum. I am what I am. Sum is I and am combined in one word, in one concept, in one thought. Uh, because I is amming in order to be I, <laughs> ontologically speaking. Now, soy lo que soy. I am what I am. What do I make of that fact? Okay, what value do I place on that? Um, we are Louis. Possibly. I won't dispute that. Um, but we are what we are. We've got to examine that tautology. Can we be evaluated for being what we are? In other words, can we be expected to be something beyond what we are? And what is the nature of that expectation? Let's say I am what I am, but for whatever reason, um, the issue arises of me becoming better than what I am, something more than what I am. What should be my motivation for being what I am? Um, we are Louis. Louis is apathetic. The option the, or the opportunity has arisen for Louis to not be apathetic. What should be Louis's motivation for shedding his apathy? Should it be shame at being Louis? Or should it be the positive desire for Louis to be more than what he is? They're not the same thing. When you want to be Louis plus, there are reasons, there are two, for the purposes of this exercise, reasons for wanting to become Louis plus. Um, one of them being that Louis isn't good enough, guilt. The other is that Louis sees a possibility of Louis plus being a benefit. <laughs> They're not the same thing, because the first one starts off with um, a, sub a subliminal or subconscious or implied statement that I am what I am, and that's not good enough. <laughs> That's the guilt motivator. The other one says, I am but I, I am what I am, and that's fine, but let's become something better than what we are. And in fact, I am what I am doesn't even ha <clears throat> doesn't even have to be fine. You can put no value on it at all. Soy lo que soy. I am what I am. <laughs> um, it's funny how that dumb little tautological statement actually is so profound when you think about it. Sum qui sum, I am what I am. Um, what value do I make of the fact that I have a nature, that I have attributes? And what should be my motivation if I want to change what I am? Um, Nietzsche fam famously said, uh, become what you are. Embrace your nature. Don't feel bad about being 
what you are. It not only is it pointless, it's irrational in a certain way to condemn yourself for acting in full accordance with your nature. But let's say that I become what I am, and I, I am Louis. But even in my Louiness, I recognize the fact that it would be a good thing to give this person my seat. It's not that I should feel guilty about not giving him my seat, because that implies that being Louis is not good enough. You see the distinction? Become what you are. Then anything beyond that is by its very nature an improvement. You're not just catching up to a median that is ever and ever higher. We are what we are.